right now we are tracking two issues across the state for you, now causing big waves. Karen Morfett and Andrew Hobner are your reporters in Jefferson County. Karen is tracking a huge threat to your bank account, but first, Andrew is following a new photo radar and red light camera that is cashing in on your lead foot. Morrison is known as one of the most notorious towns for traffic violations. In fact, it relies on fines so much that a former police chief says he was forced out because his department didn't write enough tickets. Now the town is upping the ante, installing cameras that have turned out 10,000 tickets in just two weeks. Andrew Hobner is your reporter in Jefferson County and joins us live tonight. Andrew, nobody likes the feeling of getting one of those tickets in the mail, and now 10,000 people know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a truly staggering number. I was actually told today that this radar right behind us, more than anything else, has, as you just saw, the little sparkle of white. That just issued another ticket. Over the course of a single day, this unit right here has issued 10 times the amount of tickets that the Morrison PD issued in an entire month last year. But they and business owners here on Morrison Road say that it is a safety issue and it is necessary. It's a busy day for restaurant owner Gary Conti. Some days there's so many people walk around it looks like the night of the living dead. With three graduations happening on Wednesday, there's plenty of car traffic in Morrison. In the summertime, it's crazy up here, depending on concerts. In a community with a reputation for speed traps, a new solution has been installed in the last two weeks. 10,000 violations of 10, 10 miles an hour and above over the posted speed limit. Morrison Police Chief Bill Vanelli says the fines are $40. And that was probably an estimate of 39 or 40 miles an hour. But Vanelli says it's not a speed trap and that the posted signs give more notice than a patrol car may on the street. 25 is 25. The speed limits are posted the same all over the country. They all look the same. Conti says that while speeding isn't a huge issue in the heart of downtown Morrison, drivers should be aware of pedestrians, especially on busy days. As you can see across the street, there's people everywhere walking up here. So we kind of appreciate that it's a safety issue. While Morrison is set to benefit, as citations issued by this radar have far outpaced officers on patrol. What we can write on a good month, as it was 135 for the month of April, with handwritten municipal tickets. This camera captured 1,421 violations yesterday alone. So there's that number for you, 10 times the amount in a month that is done in a day. And if you do a little bit of napkin math, it's 10,000 citations at $40 a pop. That's as much as $400,000 over a two week span. The city of Morrison could stand to gain. But Chief Vanelli did tell me that while these citations have been issued in the last couple of weeks, they got their very first payment just earlier today. In Morrison, Andrew Hobner covering Colorado first. I get the feeling a lot of people are going to be slowing down while driving through Morrison moving forward. Andrew, thank you.